Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that tree thing. Ah, there we go. Only everything. Is that like all you've got to say here? Anyways, what's up guys? Seattle Game here, back with another first look video. Today we are playing a game called The Bridge by Ty Taylor and Mario Castaneda and I I apologize because I probably butchered that horribly. I'm going to take a look here at the options menu just to see what we've got here. Um, anyways, the bridge is a, a puzzle game and it starts you off right in the game. So I apologize for not introduction, all that kind of fun stuff at the beginning. So as you can see, there are achievements in this game. Excellent. Good to see. Let's take a look at the help and options. There's a music volume, sound volume, display settings. Yes, please. Full screen, 1920 by 1080, no window border. Excellent. As you can see, there's also all sorts of things you can do. Full screen, all sorts of things. Clear save da game data, which we do not have yet. Controller vibration on. Controls, that's probably a good thing to know. This is a controller game. I'm not quite sure if it uses keyboard and mouse. I'll check in a little bit. So rotate gravity, interesting. All right. Walk, uh, backtrack, open door. All right, I'm excited. And of course, language. I'm excited because I know absolutely nothing about this game other than it's a puzzle game. So we're gonna have to figure everything out. There's also credits. Let's go right here, return to the menu. Okay, so apparently you can rotate gravity. You can see how it's uh, affecting your little character here. Can I knock all of the apples off the tree? You know, I bet you there's an achievement for knocking all the apples off this tree. Urgh! Die, apples! Die! I actually have an apple tree in my yard, and there's apples way at the top that you can't get to. I wish I could do this. Anything? No? Well, that was a colossal waste of time. Here we go. So, as you'll notice, everything in this game is, like, hand-drawn. It looks very, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, let's see here. It's kind of got that kind of pencil looking you know type thing going for it so oh can I slide slide am I back I'm back at the tree aren't I all right well what happens if I go this way anything my fortitude to tread onward so apparently it's different if you go in different directions my integrity of wit and my home with a gigantic gaping hole man you gotta fix that that's gotta be drafty as hell all right let's see what we got here Ooh, I love this bookcase I'm a fan of bookcases I don't know if you guys know that about me or not so all right so, this looks like a scene selection thing. This reminds me of a game, and I can't quite remember the name of it right now. Braid! This game reminds me of Braid. That's what it is. Let's go to the loft. Alright. Also reminds me of MC Escher a little bit. So, the way that everything is drawn here. To the loft! Alright, can I go up? I can! If I change gravity, here we go. All right. Um, well, this is an interesting mechanic. All right, I like it though. I also like the fish. So, all right, the library. Hopefully it's not like the library from Doctor Who with the, the things that live in the shadows that will eat you. All right. Can I go this way? I dropped the key. Oh, I can, can I slide the key towards me? I believe I can. Um, oh, oh, I got it. That is a gigantic book. There we go. That key is also the size of like my face. Here we go. Actually, it's probably the size of my whole body. 
All right, this is interesting. Look at that graphic at the top. It's got like the Mitsubishi logo and Absturbo, Abs Abstergo Industries and all sorts of stuff. All right, this is not what I want, but I'll fix it when I get up here. All right. Shh. There's also slight music in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's got some like violins and stuff going. Very, very nice. That is a creepy looking ball there on the left. What is this? A guy trying to invent stuff or something? Oh, it's the creepy ball. Okay. My character doesn't look very happy here. This is called the Menace. It must be because of this ball. All right, well, let's try going this way. I wonder if I can't touch the ball or I will die. What do you guys think? I have a feeling that I, I shouldn't touch this ball. I, I died and my last memory was out of pain. Press and hold B. Okay, I can rewind time as well. Which also reminds me of Braid. How am I going to do this? If I go this way, I'm going to get squashed, huh? I'm going to get squashed. I got squashed. Okay. That is not the way to do things, apparently. Let's go back to the beginning. No, no, no. Okay. Obviously, the only way to rotate it is this way. If we rotate it any way but this way, then we'll die. Oh, you can see where you die, too. Check that out. All right. So, I already very much like the graphics in this game. I think we go like this, and then that ball falls into that hole, and then we go this. No, that's going to hurt. We need to go this way. He falls there. We go this way, and we are home, free home. All right, excellent. The courtyard. There's another one of those things on a chain. And I need to find a key also, apparently. There's the key. And here we go. All right. Let's try this out. Hmm. Okay, does Queen take fall damage? Apparently not. Let's land on the tree. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, we died. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, here we go. Can we go this way and miss him? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, my friend. Okay. The ball's gonna go this way, and when we're done rotating, we will have the key there we go okay we have the key oh dear god I thought that was gonna hit me in the face and now we go this way the ball goes this way but we end up at the door and that is all she wrote for this one very cool puzzle mechanic I do have to say okay this is not gonna be fun I think mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be very challenging. All right. Oh, we have two keys to find on this level. Hmm. Yeah, very MC Escher-esque. Okay. I see what we do. We're going to rotate this key out. Like this. I don't care what my guy is doing right now. The key needs to go this way. As the key leaves, so too am I left marooned on this structure. Okay, that is not what we want to do, apparently. What about the other key? Okay. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. How's that sound? All right, we're back at the beginning here. What can we do? Instead of sliding the key that way, Maybe we slide the keys this way. Let's try that. Anything? 
That key is starting to do something. Is it gonna... F okay, that key slid to us. Excellent, one key down. Now, how do we do the other key? Hmm. How do we do this other key? I don't know. I feel like we have to go this way, but if we go this way, it'll leave forever. Can we have it slide and then back it up and have it land in the other section? You see what I'm saying? Okay. I think I figured this out. Check it. Come on, key. Yeah! There we go! No, don't get stuck! It's not a very nice thing for a key such as yourself to do. Oh, okay, let's not, let's not lose it. Here we go. Okay, we got this one, guys. My guy over there is just tumbling like he's in a washing machine. Here we go. Alright, let's talk a little bit about this game while we're waiting. I absolutely love the graphics in this game. You don't see very many graphics like this. Um, I know I mentioned Braid earlier, but this kind of hand-drawn, pencil sketchy, maybe even a little bit line art type is very, very nice. So, I also really like the mechanics of this where you change gravity. And also how they showed you that you could do that at the beginning with what was a symbolic Newton and the apple there. Okay, we got to do this without getting squashed. Go! Okay. And then we go this way. And I think the ball will fall. Yes. Now we go this way. The ball will be trapped. And we will end up at the door. Excellent. I think this is going to be the last puzzle that I do. But, oh, chapter one complete. Excellent. This is a great place to stop. So, all right. I finally found someone who shares my passion for esoteric mathematics. We've agreed to begin work on some of my ideas. With his help, my dreams could be realized. All right. This is the door. My home. My home in the middle of the street. Okay, the world is a much larger place when every wall is a floor. Um, when every wall is a floor. Oh, I gotcha. We go this way. How creepy would it be if this was like real life? You're just like chilling out in your home and then all of a sudden you're on the ceiling. All right, I also love this kind of architecture. This is kind of what I want my house to look like. I can't convince my wife to do wallpaper for some reason though. So I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys want more awesome, awesome gravity death defying type action, then I suggest you pick up this game, especially if you love puzzle games. It's got this kind of mechanic where you can reverse time and it's got the change in gravity type thing as well. So, anyways, I'll leave everything you need down below. Definitely check it out. I believe it's like nine, ten dollars, something like that. Maybe fifteen. I'm not quite sure. I don't quite remember. Um, but oh, I'm gonna fall off of the side of my house. So, anyways, check this game out. I think it looks super interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish it up here, just because I love puzzle games like this and I will see you guys in the next episode thank you all so much for watching if you like this hit the thumbs up if you didn't hit that thumbs down but please leave a comment down below it helps out my channel immensely and on this page is a link to my Twitter account as well as a link to my previous video for you to check out thank you guys very much see you out